Raptor 1 was truly around kind of a 180, 185 tons of pushed, um, and Raptor 2 is uh, 230 tons of pushed. Uh, however, I figure we can presumably move past time. 250 tons of pushed. Um, so it's sorry, it's 230 tons at 300 bar. At 300 bar. Wow. A standard working strain is 300 bar. Which is somewhat. This is insane for a rocket motor. Where have a fundamental TH Oper? This is by a long shot a record. Yes, today, we're wandering into the cutting-edge universe of innovation and speculative situations. We'll start things off with a profound plunge into the most recent progressions of SpaceX's Raptor motors, investigating how these wonders of designing have developed into the stalwart plans they are today. Then, at that point, we'll take advantage of our minds with an idea practice about a what-if situation, including an organization named Tesla. Considering the boundless prospects of advancement, stay with us as we investigate these intrigue subjects and make certain to share your experiences and inquiries in the remarks prepared to get everything rolling great. Before we hop further, we ask that you show your help by enjoying this video and buying into Tesla stock news. We should bounce right in to end up as the winner in the simulated intelligence game. Everything unquestionably revolves around having the greatest and baddest PCs and not being reluctant to toss mountains of money at the issue. Tesla's structure, this beast of a supercomputer group, only for artificial intelligence preparing. That lets you know something, right? It implies, if you have any desire to play enormous, you want the sort of PCs that don't do the math yet totally crush them. Elon Musk, he's not one to avoid. Enormous cases, he's out there saying to win. In simulated intelligence, everything revolves around having the most impressive preparation devices. Sort of makes you suppose assuming it's that vital to a person like Musk. Perhaps we ought to all focus presently. We should truly get into the stuff to fabricate an astonishing computer-based intelligence framework. Consider it assembling an elite exhibition tool. Stash. It's sufficiently not to have any old PC. You really want one that is areas of strength for really quick, like a best-in-class sports vehicle in the realm of PCs. Yet influence isn't all that you likewise need the right sort of information. This resembles the fuel for your simulated intelligence without it. Even the quickest PC will not get you far. Now how about we discuss how you make your computer-based intelligence significantly more brilliant once it begins learning? It resembles showing a canine new. Deceives. You must have the right methods and a ton of persistence. You really want heaps of information for the simulated intelligence to rehearse on, and you want to know how to change and work on the computer-based intelligence as it gains from this information. Here's where Tesla truly pulls in front of the opposition. They approach a monstrous pool of information from every one of their vehicles, cruising all over the world in vision. Every Tesla vehicle is a little researcher gathering data consistently, it's out and about. This isn't any information, it's genuine information from genuine roads, genuine weather patterns, and genuine traffic for a simulated intelligence. That resembles rehearsing on a similar field where it will play the defining moments. This gives Tesla a tremendous advantage in light of the fact that their artificial intelligence is gaining from genuine, not reproductions. Maybe their artificial intelligence has been prepared. Preparation in a similar field. It will contend in making it more prepared and more refined than others. That is a game changer and a certifiable benefit. With regards to creating artificial intelligence that genuinely comprehends and explores our reality. Effectively, organizations aren't perched on their hands. They've been scratching Twitter information for everything it has, involving it progressively to remain ahead. Envision that each tweet you send could be assisting some, with huge company and get more intelligent. Elon Musk isn't centered around reforming transportation with vehicles or spearheading new ways to space with rock rockets. He's imagining a future that appears to be straight out of a sci-fi novel where many millions, maybe even billions of humanoid robots known as the Optimus, populate our reality. Musk sees a fantastic chance to change society with these robots. He's not tossing around. Huge thoughts. He's looking at conveying robots in numbers, going from 500 million to north of a billion. Envision it an existence where robots could be basically as normal as cell phones. That is not only a ton of robots, that is a change in outlook by the way we live and work. Yet here's where it gets truly intriguing. It's not just about the sheer number of robots strolling. 
Among us, these Optimus robots from Tesla are intended to accomplish more than perform undertakings they're worked to be information assortment forces to be reckoned with. Picture each robot consistently in each side of the globe, assembling a steady stream of data from its connections and perceptions in reality. This isn't just about mechanical assistance. It's tied in with hoarding an uncommon volume of information. The potential here is extraordinary. Each Optimus robot traveling through our networks could gather more definite and various information than all the Tesla vehicles. As of now, out and about, ponder the ramifications of that. Briefly, this information could alter how we comprehend human cooperation, natural changes, or even metropolitan elements. The size of information that these humanoid robots could assemble is genuinely stunning. Predominating what we as of now catch, this isn't a step in the right direction in advanced mechanics. It's a jump toward a practically unfathomable fate of coordinated human-robot environment. Did you know a major piece of what makes us human comes down to how we can get and control things with our hands? That is correct. Those hands of our own are exceptional. We have enormous hands, and a large portion of the muscles controlling them are in our lower arms. It resembles having underlying devices toward the finish of our arms with regards to making robot hands work. Like our own, specialists need to get pretty sharp. They're placing actuators in the robot's lower arms and tweaking the finger lengths. The present tech chatter, it's just about attempting to give robots better expertise, making them however convenient as people. Our hands may be unbelievably perplexing and fundamental for a wide range of errands, Currently take that intricacy and think about making a robot hand that can do what human hands do that is difficult for engineers. Making an automated arm that emulates human skill isn't something that works out. Coincidentally, it requires a ton of shrewd designing and advancement. The most recent automated arm planned by the group. It's furnished with 22 levels of opportunity. You may be considering, what does that even have good intentions in mechanical technology? Levels of opportunity alludes to the quantity of ways a mechanical joint can move. So 22 levels of opportunity implies this automated arm can move in 22 distinct ways that is practically similar to having almost a similar scope of movement as a human arm. Every development of the mechanical arm is constrained by what we call actuators and sensors. Actuators resemble muscles. They make the arm, move sensors, then again resemble nerves they assist the robot with detecting what it's contacting and the way that it ought to move. I show today is that Tesla is substantially more than electric vehicle organization, uh, that we have a uh, profound computer-based intelligence, action, uh, in um, equipment, on the derivation level, on the preparation level. Um, and uh, essentially, we, I believe we're, I think ostensibly the forerunners, in certifiable computer-based intelligence as it